Well, hey guys, thanks for joining me. Today, we are on Lake Hickory, competing in the QC KBF Catawba Clash, I believe that's the name of it. Uh, this is the event seven of the 2023 QC KBF series. Um, it's an interesting little uh, tournament that we got going on here. Uh, it is basically any public launch on the Catawba River system chain, all the way from Lake James, all the way down to Lake Watery. Every public access is, is in play except Lake Norman in this particular event. So, I thought I'm gonna try my luck out here at Lake Hickory. I literally have not been out here in like three years, um, so I don't know what's, and I'm the only one here, so I don't know how this is gonna play out. Uh, I, uh, Lake Hickory is notoriously fickle, uh, but I do know that there's big fish here. I've never seen them, but I haven't been catching anything like on my, my normal day-to-day -day fishing, so I figure a change of pace is, is uh, probably uh, overdue. Um, launching here at Love Lady Access. Love Lady. I don't know much about the launch, but I do love that name. So, I've got a little bit of uh, final preparations to make, but I'll see you out in the water. Let's get to it. Alright guys, 14 and a quarter. It was cool, this one actually missed a whopper plopper and I threw back in there with a, with a uh, wacky rig and he went back for it. Let's get him back in the water. That was, it was too small. All right, guys, 13 and a half. QC KBF allows clips, like panfish clips, to secure your fish. However, my clip broke for some reason. Dude, these fish are going absolutely nuts on the board. I, I don't know what's going on, but they are not cooperating in the least. But, got them measured, 13 and a half. Let's get back in the water. And now it's time for <laughs> tackle. 
Roundup. All right, guys, what I caught that fish on, if I can get it, is this. This is a V-twin, a quarter ounce V-twin buzzbait by True South Custom Lures. The color is Merlin. And then as a trailer, it is just a white Zoom Fat Albert grub. And that's what I'm using. I love a good buzz bait, not doing anything uh, like special or particular with it. Just uh, just burning it. And uh, yeah, any day I can catch fish on top water is a good day. So anyways, I'm going to get back to it with my True South Custom Lures V-Twin buzz bait in the color Merlin. And that concludes today's <laughs> Tackle Roundup. Seventeen and a quarter. This dude has seen better days. Look at that ugly, ugly fish. This poor guy has like a hole in his mouth from a call tag. He's got a dead eye. Uh, he's seen better days. Um, I'm gonna have to take a video of this release because he's got a dead eye, and I don't want him to get, get disqualified. So I'm gonna take it with my handheld. We're gonna get him back in the water. Hey Vinny, or uh, Blaine, this is the dead eye fish. Well, all right guys, midday update. Got the three fish, um, that's good. Biggest is like 17, and I got two little ones. So that's better than nothing. Just word of, uh, just giving you a heads up. I don't know what happened, but like last night at about seven o'clock, I just got a cold and it came out of nowhere with just like, came out with, with a vengeance. I mean, it's just, it's bad. And like, usually I can, you know, a couple days ahead of time, I can usually tell that like, hey, I'm not feeling good. I can usually feel it coming on. This thing just came like a freight train. I mean, it was, pretty rough so i'm all like coughing and snotting and stuff so and i don't feel particularly well but it is what it is still got four hours gonna try to uh, make something of this that's enough of me talking let me get back to it species that's a very pretty little fish look at him
River Rats. River Rats. And Cootie Stew. And Cootie Stew. Baby, that's. Get that one. Too little, and my cold's coming back. Let's get back in the water. Finishes out the limit. There's my limit, baby. Man, I don't know how you guys like that don't use clips do this on a regular basis because these fish have not like. I, you see what I'm saying? They've been fighting me the entire gosh darn time. But I finally got him marked up. We're gonna get him back in the water. gonna do it for today another QC KBF event in the book um man I mean I, I had a enjoyable day 
I think if I were in a tournament, I would have enjoyed the day. Um, I was able to put a couple fish in the boat, nothing big. Ended up with a very small limit, like you know, 57 inches or something. Um, man, I just fish sloppy. I mean, just sloppy is the way that it is. I mean, I, I, I want to be clear. I don't think that I would have would have been in anywhere close to the top 10 um, with the fish that that I that I hooked up with. Man, I was just sloppy. I mean, just really, really sloppy. There was the one fish. I mean, in particular. There, I know it would have helped me. Um, and I had it up at the front of the boat. It jumped out, almost jumped in the boat, and then stupid me got the bright idea, hey, let me try to flip it into the boat with my finesse gear. Well, what was I, what was I thinking? That was just stupid. I should have just brought them around. I mean, that would have been, uh, that would have upgraded me at least three inches um, and then been, been a little bit more respectable. Um, there was other times where like, especially there at the end, I was fishing and uh, like, I was getting impatient, trying to trying to make something happen, and I would I reeled in, and, and I, as I reeled in, there was a fish chasing chasing the bait to the boat. I was like, God, if I had just been patient, I would have would have caught the fish. Then my my clip broke, and I'm still gonna tell myself that that one fish that jumped off uh, that that one fish that jumped off the board wasn't gonna count. But um, I, that's another thing. Man, I fought fish all day long. That's another thing. I don't understand. I see, like, I watch YouTube videos of people in tournament fishing, and they put the fish on the board, and it just lays there like he's in a lazy boy taking a nap. I, I never have that. That's any such luck. Like, I will hook the fish, and it's like it won't fight at all. It's like I'm reeling in a log, and then, like, as soon as I get it on the board, he's like. I've been waiting for this moment my entire life and just decide to go back crazy. I mean, every fish that I caught, it was a literally life and death battle just to get him to lay on the board. I don't know what the heck that was about. So yeah, uh, again, was able to put a couple fish in the boat. Probably will finish middle of the pack somewhere, but I gotta work on my mental game uh, as far as fishing because uh, when I said that I was sloppy, yeah, I was sloppy and making mental mistakes, but I also, I'm not gonna lie, when that bass boater caught the fish like literally on the next tree that I was gonna fish, I'm not gonna say that I wasn't a little bit demoralized. I am not gonna say it, but I was. I was very demoralized seeing that happen. Um, happy for him demoralized that it happened to me and before anybody chimes in as far as you know oh that, he shouldn't have cut you off that it wasn't a matter we we were both coming from opposite directions neither one of us saw each other and it just there's just one of those things that happened um i could have lived the rest of my life not seeing that but uh oh well that that was demoralizing though um good for him though anyways i'm gonna call it a day I don't really feel good. That's the other thing. I still don't feel, I don't feel good. Uh, I don't know. I'm running a fever and stuff. Not feeling good. But I'm going to head back to the house. If you'd like to know anything about what I did today, the lures, the launch, or anything else, you can look down in the description box. I'm going to leave some additional information down there while you're there. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. The channel's updated every week with new fishing content and new fishing adventures. So I'll be seeing you next week. This is Josh, and this is Abide Fishing. Bye. <laughs>